hello YouTube welcome back to my video uh, this is the second uh, video of the tutorial JS of uh, Java server faces in this tutorial uh, we are going to check a JS of with uh, Ajax in front end and uh, let's try a project so let me create a new project and it's uh, Java web and web application and uh, the name is uh, hello hello world Ajax now clicking next and I am selecting my server as Tomcat and all of this are default click next and the framework is Java server faces just select that and uh, all of this I am putting in default and just uh, click finish first I'm going to create a managed bean so let me explore my uh, project and inside that I'm going to create a package uh, com dot dot com and uh, click finish all others let be default okay I have created my package inside that I'm going to create a JS of managed bean so you can select from here JS of managed bean so I am uh, giving the name as hello ajax test no I am putting as ajax test hello ajax and now I am clicking finish ok uh, all the default values uh, default annotation which is the managed bean and request scope uh, annotation has come here now I am giving uh, a private variable here private uh, string name and string string name and I am putting uh, getters and setters of for that Okay, I have created a getters and setters for uh, this uh, uh, JS of managed bean and uh, get and setter for this uh, variable pri private string. Okay, now I am adding a function here and which is return string and uh, I am giving say welcome Ajax as the name. And inside that, I'm just uh, returning return hello Ajax, and I'm just appending the name variable there. Okay, now going back to uh, my web pages. So in the index.html let me take that we are going to take uh, Java server faces core tag library because the code like code tag library is supporting the Ajax so we will have to add uh, the code ta uh, the code tag library XML namespace details in the header so I'm just adding and the prefix we are normally giving is as EF and uh, I am giving uh, that link here. So I have added the JS of code tag library details here. Now we can access uh, the uh, JS of uh, keywords using the code tag library. So let me create a form here. So it's from HTML mm, JS of it's called a form. So inside that, I am giving an uh, output text here. Scroll and output uh, text. Okay, and a small command button here. Uh, the value I'm giving it as 
submit okay i have uh, written a form here and it's a small form and uh, let's try running this and look how it works form has been loaded but i have done a mistake here this is not an output text i intended to give an input text actually i'm giving a text box actually so it will be it's colon uh, output Uh, it's called input text and I'm giving a breakpoint here to come the next details in the next page, next line yes I have given a uh, form and uh, uh, the text box and a submit button now I'm going to use uh, the Ajax here now in the text box I am giving a ID name for this uh, text box IDS IDS name and uh, the value I'm giving it X uh, the one which from our uh, JS of management so our JS of management name is hello HX. so I'm giving the hello HX here so dot name okay the value I have given it as Ajax uh, uh, dot name so whatever we are submitting the value will be going to this uh, variable now inside the uh, command button inside that I'm going to give the ajax uh, text like f colon ajax and uh, is from the JS of core actually core tag library and uh, I'm giving an execute uh, tag so inside that I'm giving an execute name so this name is uh, basically the name of the ID which one we have to update so what update should uh, once we click the command button what should actually happen to this ID and I am giving the ID name here execute name and I am also giving a render here I'll say what it is actually I'm um, now I'm just closing this okay now outside the command button I am giving an output text uh, Okay, I'm giving an output text here and the ID should be I'm giving it as output okay now the value I'm giving here as uh, the value which from our hello Ajax we have given a function there so it will be uh, hello Ajax colon uh, say welcome Ajax so was uh, say welcome ajax is actually the it will print hello ajax plus the name which I have given now in the render uh, section i am giving the output uh, id as output now what is going to happen is once we press the command button this uh, will execute uh, the id name here with the output uh, from hello ajax function okay hope you got it now let's try running this going back to our page index let me refresh this oops there is an error coming here. yes I got the error it was because of the function name which we are going to use here see here in this method we are using say welcome ajax in the same way uh, we are using a name uh, uh, name variable here once you are giving the name variable here it was it is uh, looking for get name method here this method uh, it is actually calling so when we are uh, giving the save welcome ajax it is actually uh, searching for get save welcome ajax so what we have to do is just create the name of this method same as uh, the getter for that so for example I am just uh, giving a private variable here and uh, private uh, string okay and just uh, putting get getters for that so the getter for that will be uh, get say welcome ajax uh, like this one okay now i'm just uh, copying this and pasting it here and remove this completely and uh, i don't want uh, this as well okay 
now coming back to here yes i hope it will work now let's try from here let me refresh it yes it is working so actually when we are calling from say welcome ajax method it is actually looking for get say welcome ajax so it's a uh, uh, working here we'll uh, get rid of this ajax information now and for that uh, if uh, i'm just giving a if loop here if uh, name equals null or name dot equals okay uh, equal if it's a blank return nothing else return the uh, hello world information hello ajax uh, okay i'm pasting it here now uh, going back to my page again let me refresh yes all things have been gone now i am giving my name here my name here and uh, submit yes the uh, value has been printed now this is how we use the uh, ajax uh, in our project so if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, yes i'll be sharing the source code in my website and if you have any doubt please comment and thanks for watching and please like and subscribe for my videos